animal of the week is a cat. A cat is my brother's best friend. If a cat doesn't get enough food, it'll run away. But some cats, if it gets thrown outside, it'll keep going back to get food. I have experience with that. When you banish a cat, it will usually run away, but some will just keep coming back and never leave. Hello, my name is Mr. Buff. Welcome to your basketball tryout for the best team in the league. Yes. I go to the bathroom? No, this is not a place for babies. You can hold it. So today we are going to run. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, go and hurry. Okay, today we're going to run. So when I say go, you guys are not going to run. Three, two, one, go. Uh, year negative three, day 94 of the flying squirrel apocalypse. I'm inside my house right now. Because the flying squirrels are outside. So, I can't really get outside because they're outside. So, uh, to solve this problem, I walked to uh, Walmart and then I bought a sombrero and then... I came back, so then if I need to go outside, I can just wear the sombrero, and then they can't get me. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to come up with a solution and make something that'll keep them at bay. So, what I have so far, beat the flying squirrels, and that can last you a few minutes. So, yeah.
Anyways. Life is boring. And signing off. What's your name, your occupation, and what do you, what subject? My name is uh, Mr. Harrington. I am a teacher and a coach, and I teach uh, social studies, eighth grade U.S. history here at Robert Stewart. What's your opinion on Robert Stewart? I think it's a great school, um, great kids, great location. Now um, we're learning, and good place to be. How do you think people treat you here? I've been treated wonderful here. It's one of the better schools I've worked at in terms of staff cohesion and staff getting along. Um, so really great. What do you like about social studies? Um, that is the study of human interactions, uh, how people uh, go about doing things, how uh, history repeats itself, and so we can see like what's happened in the past and see how we've been dealt with in the past and how we can do it better. Did you think that you were going to be a teacher when you were younger? Uh, no, I wanted to be a sports agent um, or a sports broadcaster in radio, um, yet I am here, you know, broadcasting every day to my students. How do you feel about your students? I think my students are wonderful. I really hope to see that they become more better engaged citizens in the upcoming years. Do you have any opinion on the sports system at Robert Stewart? I don't have any opinions on the sports of Robert Stewart. I do think it's middle school, so... It's all about development and that it doesn't matter, but that's just me. Um, do you think they could add any sports? Uh, I think we'd like to see them add like a softball or a baseball program, but I understand like equipment and areas. What's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. Okay, thank you. Welcome to How To Do Random Things! Today, we will show you how to talk to girls! We will show you the way in three phases. Preparation, doing it, and dealing with emotional damage. Wait, what? Preparation! Wear cologne! Do a hair smooth. Talk like this. Wear black. Doing it! Dealing with emotional damage. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And that is how to talk to girls. It's really not. <laughs> Follow these instructions step by step, and you will not talk to girls. <laughs>
Thanks for watching this week's episode. Make sure to turn in for next week's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the next upload. Word!